Hello, my name is Matt O'Brien. Um, I'm here to see Ryan Adams at the Wizard of Oz Theatre. I'm here to see him because he is the uh, in the Emerald Palace playing some tunes. I want to hear uh, why I'm here. Um, he's a hero of mine. He's written some of the best songs I think I've ever heard in my entire life. It's a rare occasion, and tonight we're going to hear some great tunes, and it's going to be great. And how does this sort of music make you feel? Um, he's an angry man, like, and there's a lot of things in the world that make me angry, and I'm not as poetic as he is, and uh, I like to hear the way he constructs the world and puts it back together with his guitar. That's what I'm here, really. Well, well, this is Nick reporting from the front of the Palladium Theatre in London tonight, where the crowd's gathering to see Ryan Adams rock out. Now, the uh, American songwriter has plenty of affiliations with Britain. He's a Brit Award nominee, and his last four shows were here in autumn last year and they all sold out. I'm John and I've come because I love Ryan Adams. That's, that's pretty much it. What is it about his music? Uh, I don't know, I guess it's his songwriting skills. They're really good. I don't really know how to say it. Are you, um, are you a fan of his new stuff? Or do you Cardinals? I and like Batman? all of it. <laughs> I've listened to all of it. Sure. Lyrically, musically? Both of them? Sorry? Do you, do you like his lyrics or music uh, or both? I, like I like his I like his chord structures mainly, I think they're really good. Haven't seen him before, annoyingly. Broken his arm, this, that and the other. Didn't get tickets last time. So really excited to see him this time. What is it about your music that makes you want to come to the same time? Uh, it's just my kind of thing. It's a bit of everything. Rock and roll, country, blues. Um, I just really love it. Were you, were you a Cardinals fan or a bit of everything? Oh, everything. Or, From yeah. the beginning. Whiskey Town, then this sort of stuff and then with Cardinals and now Happy's on his own again. I started listening to Ryan Adams um, at work of all things. Um, my, I used to work at a computer terminal and, and the guy next to me used to put Ryan Adams on in the breaks when the boss wasn't there. And um, it was it was fab. So I used to take it home and then my kids started listening to it as well. And we've been listening to it for years. And then we started listening to Alice Roberts as well. So when I heard both of them playing at the same time, it was worth coming up for the ball. Are you a uh, acoustic or a band fan of this? Uh, I love the acoustic stuff, I guess, probably more than anything. Sure. Have you been on a show before? I have, yes. How, do you, how would you describe it? Is it a... uh, I, I saw him at the Barbican with, on the acoustic tour last year and it was uh, it was very intimate, it was beautiful, um, I thought it was great. It was fantastic, that was their tenth time I've seen him. It just gets better and better every time, it's stunning. And the slow stuff still stands up in a concert hall? Oh, absolutely, it's, it's the best It's the best uh, venue for it, the theatre. Uh, the acoustics and the, the rounds, absolutely brilliant. Good. Had a good stage presence, very funny? Oh, it's hilarious. His stories. He often makes up a song, which he did tonight. It's just absolutely hilarious. Sends something off most of his albums right across his whole career, and he's got a lot of them. This, the variation is really nice. I think. Um, yeah, it just makes for a great gig. I mean, he advertises it as an intimate, so you know what you're getting, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's always lots of surprises. It's very really good indeed. Right. This is going to be brilliant. This I can tell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was fantastic. Great sounds. Um, especially like the song about the cat. Yeah. Excellent. You improvise very well on stage, you're very likeable yeah, on stage. I thought the song about the cat was probably the highlight for me. Uh, <laughs> I hadn't heard that before, that's fantastic. Could have gone for another two hours, um, more sad songs, would have kept me going all night long. Yeah, was it too slow? No, not at all, not at all. I just heard signing off for wingball.com here tonight at the London Palladium. Brian Anderson playing here tonight. Been a wonderful gig, the crowd have been amazing coming in here tonight. Really knowledgeable about this musician, this artist, and his various guys here, so they love him. Uh, they've come out, and it's not that many stops on the way out, but those who have really loved the guy tonight. Apparently a really, really good gig in there, great atmosphere. Uh, yeah, over to you, Winkle.